welcome back to Larger Than Life TV. So it's been a long day for me right now and it's, uh, it's 8.55 p.m. and uh, I've been up since 5.55 today, been at work and it's really been a long day but I still came to the gym this evening and hit some shoulders. Really, really trained well and I feel amazing. So recently I've been spending a lot of time doing these videos, editing these videos, you know, really working on my channel to make sure that I'm bringing as, as good a quality video as I could possibly make. And you know, I'm looking back at my original videos and actually cringing because I see, you know, how I've progressed in the videos that I'm doing for you guys. And uh, you know, I'm really starting to see the rewards of, you know, using a, a specific camera, using better editing equipment, and you know, slow but surely, my, my whole channel seems to be progressing and um, you know it's it's really coming on um, there's always more you know room for more improvement like anything in life but really trying to sort of you know bring the best that I can bring to this channel um, a lot of time that I'm you know spending now is uh, working on my clothing line which is larger than life and you know I want to talk a little bit about that because I haven't really shared that on this channel and I've had a few questions in relation to my clothing and what am I wearing and you know what does it stand for etc so larger than life really sort of um, came about quite a few years ago when I was actually driving to the gym and um, I was wearing my usual stuff, you know, my usual brand of clothing, you know, that everyone else wears, and I realized that I needed to buy some new stuff because it was getting worn, you know, the, the logo was coming off and, you know, the tag was coming loose, etc. So I went online that night and I actually went to go and buy some clothing, and I realized when I was at the checkout that it actually showed how many people had actually purchased that item and it was in the thousands. And I just remember thinking to myself, you know, I really want that one day. I really want my own clothing company that people can relate to as a good brand and something that, you know, someone puts their, their heart and soul into. You know, they really want to do it because it's their passion. It's what they love to do in life. And that's pretty much where Larger Than Life was born. Originally, the actual name of the company was not Larger Than Life. It was um, TV Under Siege, which was the original name of my YouTube channel and then TV Under Siege sort of progressed into well okay I'm I'm a tall bodybuilder so let's go with you know so Giant to the Gym but then I thought Giant to the Gym is basically limiting the, the, the sound of the clothing to just gym wear and I didn't want that I want it to be more of a lifestyle clothing you can actually wear out you know as casual clothing as well as sportswear as opposed to just in the gym and then I thought well you know I'm always trying to be you know, I've, or I've, oh, I've always been bigger than everybody else. I always strive to be as big and as, you know, as good as I can be. And that's when Larger Than Life was born. And um, I, yeah, I went through quite a lot of processes to actually get the designs that you sometimes see on my clothing. Like this one right here is actually called the smudge design. It basically, originally this was actually round, which is what I'm gonna be doing again. I'm gonna be bringing out the round design. Originally it was round and it was meant to be like a, like a stamp, like a stamp of approval, you know, um, but we actually made it square. So we had the smudge design, I've got the male logo, which is actually meant to be, <laughs> meant to be me. Um, and then there was a host of other stuff as well, which incorporated where my girlfriend was from, which is actually from Trinidad. So we wanted to get the Trinidad colors in there too, uh, incorporate with larger than life. So that's actually where the whole, you know, clothing line came from. And I actually spent a lot of time working on my clothing company, even now, you know, I, I'm currently having my website, my website looked at and designed by one of my friends. The reason why I went with Etsy is simply because a lot more people will go onto Etsy every day. Um, you'll get a lot more traffic of people viewing it. Whereas with your own website, you have to push people to go there. They're, they're not just gonna stumble across it like they do on Etsy. So that's why I chose Etsy right now. The company itself, the actual Larger Than Life name is registered. It's a it's a registered logo, it's a registered name, and that's one of the first things that I actually did when I started the, the clothing company up, was get the brand registered, because I didn't want anyone else copying the logo or the name. So it's already copied, guys, you can go copying it. Um, so I actually spend a hell of a lot of my time on my clothing. Now, as far as my training goes, you know, I, I wear this clothing throughout my training pretty much in every single time I go to the gym in most videos because obviously it's a way of promoting your stuff as well. I wear it in a lot of my um, my social media which is obviously on Twitter and Instagram 
and it's definitely about putting it out there as far as a brand as far as trying to you know let people see the product that you're putting out there and you know I want my name behind that product I want my name to sort of be solidified with larger than life as far as the quality that it is and what it stands for you know larger than life is not about just being a tall bodybuilder it's about striving to be the best you can be in life and just be as big as you can possibly be do it as big and as bold as you can possibly do and you know leave a legacy in life that's where larger than life actually derives from because a lot of people think that you know larger than life clothing you have to be a tall bodybuilder well it's actually not you know I have a lot of people that do it for powerlifting wear it for powerlifting I have a lot of people that wear it for the gym as far as training but I also just have it for you know some of my friends who just are into fitness in general you know um, so it's not just a, a tall bodybuilder clothing line the purpose of this video is to basically, you know, put a, um, you know, a message out there to everyone, um, especially, you know, my, my my tall bodybuilding friends out there who are, you know, following this channel, who are watching this channel, to realise that whatever you put into your, you know, into your goals, you're going to get out of your goals. So, you know, really try and push with your training really push with your nutrition and push with just being focused on your goals because the more you put into something the more you're going to get out of it guys and that's honestly the fact you know with, with everything in life but as far as your training goes make sure you keep pushing with everything every single time you're at home and you find yourself that you've got five minutes don't be bored by it you know you should never have five minutes spare if you're striving to succeed in something and that's what I'm trying to do right now is strive to succeed in my training trying to get the best physique I can possibly get and also to you know succeed well in my clothing line as well so never have five minutes spare where you think that you've got nothing to do because I guarantee you you've got something to do go and learn about nutrition go and learn about different training techniques you know look up on the internet what is the best training exercises for chest you know come onto my channel and find out what is the best exercises for tall uh, bodybuilders trying to put on some size always keep pushing guys because I promise you you're gonna get results if you if you sit around doing nothing, if you find yourself being bored for 20 minutes, then that's where you're going to start slagging, uh, slagging, slagging, slagging. So that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to put this video out there because I really want to start encouraging guys to just keep pushing yourself and be inspired by your results. Be inspired by how much extra you're training every week, you know, how much more you're putting into the dedication of, you know, your meal prep, how much you're actually putting into your preparation of, right, I need to sleep another two hours tonight. You know, really just keep pushing yourself in this lifestyle because, you know, as far as being tall and skinny and starting to see results, it's such a it's such a rewarding sport. It's such a rewarding, you know, part of life that you can really see physical results. And, you know, you look in the mirror and you can say to yourself, no one else did this. No one else earned this but me. This was all me. I fucking did that. I look in the mirror and I actually created this physique. No one else did this for me. No one else helped me accomplish this. You know, I didn't go to the boss and, you know, work my way up the ladder. I did this on my own, you know, and this is what I really want to promote with this channel. You know, I know I'm going on a bit and I know I'm talking, but um, this is what I'm passionate about, guys. You know, I really want to try and help as many people as I can because, you know, I'm starting to see such great results from my training, from my nutrition, from the, you know, my lifestyle of constantly striving to get better and get stronger and get bigger. And I just want to let you guys know out there that you really can do it if you put your mind to it. You know, if you set yourself a goal, an obtainable goal, and you stick with it, guys, you stick with it, then I promise you, you're going to start seeing results. So, guys, thanks for watching. I know this video is a bit longer than I intended to do because it's now five past nine. I need to go home and get some food because I've just trained my, uh, my post-workout shake because it's too late to eat, so I want something that's going to be quickly absorbed. And I'm um, going to get some sleep because I'm back up again for five. But, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Please continue to keep watching my videos, like my videos. If you like it, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys are getting on. You know, if there's anything else I can help with, if there's any other videos that I can do to sort of, you know, help you guys out, then um, feel free to let me know, guys. Um, so until next time, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.